Hello and welcome to another edition of Siler Design and Solutions Tips and Tricks. My name is John Ofield. Today we're going to cover how to detach a file from your central model within the Revit environment. So when you have a central model, you typically have a group of people working uh, on local files that are feeding to the central file. But what happens when you need to make a copy of that uh, particular spot in time of the project, maybe for archiving or for somebody to uh, take and review. Um, so this is going to be the uh, quick version of how to do that. So typically you would just, you know, pick on your file, you make a, another local, but the process to create a detached model is you will go to uh, your open uh, folder or you can go to your uh, quick access toolbar select open here and from your file menu as well you can select open here as well so <clears throat> either way you can do that uh, what we're going to do is just we're going to path to that central model and notice how it wants to create a new local file but what we're going to do is select detach from central and what this does, it breaks it away from the central model to a point, and we're going to go through the two options that will come up when we go through this process. So when we select open here, you're going to get two options. One's detach preserve work sets, and one is detach and discard work sets. If you select detach and preserve work sets, it still wants to keep it as a central model, but it makes a direct copy of the environment that you're currently working in. Now, if you don't need it as a central model and you just want to open it up as a one person uh, singular type file, that's where we'll pick this second option right here. So we'll go through uh, creating both of those here and we'll see what those look like. So now what we'll do is we can come up here and we can go to a file save as project. But when we look in our options, see how this still wants to be a central model well i'm going to cancel that real quick and then we can close this file and then what we'll do is we'll go back to open select that central model again we'll select detach from central select open we're going to pick the sec second option here for discarding work sets once this opens up we'll be able to see those different save options as well for the project and once we get into the options notice that it is unchecked so that is the two differences between uh, the two file types that it makes when you select detach from central hope this has helped you out you have a great day thank you